People either forget or aren't aware that the internet consists of fiber optic cables like this. Here I have two fiber optic cables and in this example, I'll shine a visible light through one of the cables. So there you go, hopefully you can see that I am shining a light through this fiber optic cable. The internet consists of fiber optic cables. As an example, the submarine cable map website shows us various submarine cables connecting the world together. So as an example, we've got cables from the UK connecting to the USA. Cables like these provide internet access around the world. Now, recently at the time of this recording, Afghanistan has been cut off from the internet. Netblocks.org shows us that around the 30th of September, 2025, the internet went down. This is from The Guardian, Afghanistan blind without phones and internet on second day of telecoms blackout. Taliban authorities cut fiber optic network in nationwide shutdown of communications to prevent a vice. This is affecting flights as an example. It's also affecting the internet as well as telecommunications. So in Reuters, we can see that Afghanistan cell phone internet services down after Taliban ordered cut, sources say. Now, this is not the first time that cutting of fiber cables has caused disruption around the world. In September of this year, Microsoft cloud services disrupted by Red Sea cable cuts. So Microsoft's Azure cloud services have been disrupted by undersea cable cuts in the Red Sea, the US tech giant says. AP News also talks about undersea cables cut in the Red Sea, disrupting internet access in Asia and the Middle East. And then we have a older example where a volcano severed communications in Tonga. So remember that the world is connected by fiber optic cables. Now, whenever I say that, people say, but what about Starlink? Starlink uses satellites, but your communications go to a base station. So when you send traffic from your satellite dish, you're sending it to a satellite, but that signal is bounced down to a base station, which connects you to the rest of the internet. So in my example, I connect to the internet via London. So that's how I get onto the internet through the satellites. So from my satellite dish to the satellites goes down to a base station and then connects to the rest of the internet. Most of the world's internet traffic goes through internet cables like these submarine cables. So I've seen various figures for this, but here's from the BBC as an example, talking about the deep sea emergency service that keeps the internet running. Here you can see a submarine cable and ship and they talk about 99% of the world's digital communications rely on subsea cables. When they break, it could spell disaster for a whole country's internet. How do you fix it? And then they talk about how these ships are used to fix the cables. So you may be using your cell phone to connect to the internet. You may be using Starlink, but the world relies on these submarine cables that connect us together. If the fiber cables are cut, our internet breaks.